Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we're going to be doing a pretty simple tutorial. We're just going to be drawing an object that we found online. Now it's important that we have something with dimensions because it makes the whole process a lot easier so that we're not guessing. So if you look at it, it's made up of several different components here. First, it looks like to me a rectangle at the bottom that we're going to chamfer here. And then it looks like another rectangle up to the top that we're going to fill it so that it has a half circle here. And then it looks like a triangle that we can draw. So let's get started. We'll start with that base piece because that's important. So it looks like the dimensions here is 66 by 42. So we'll make our rectangle there. So we'll start by clicking on create a sketch. And then we just choose any of our planes. I'm going to choose the X, Y as I normally do. And now we can go up here to our two point rectangle. And we're going to click on it. You could have used the center point rectangle if you want. And we'll actually do that. We'll do center rectangle. We'll click. And what were those dimensions? 66 by 42. Oh. Well, I guess I accidentally clicked on it anyway. <laughs> so we'll change those dimensions. So if you press D, which I had done, um, you'll click here on this side. And we need to make this. 42 and press enter and then we need to make this bottom side 66 and press enter and by the way if your document settings are different from mine that's all right you can use whatever uh, units you'd like but personally I usually use millimeters here and we can go and change that with this button right here so now that we have the outline of our base we need to extrude it so we're going to press Q and once we've pressed Q, we need to select what we're going to be extruding. So we have this selected, and if we look at our drawing here, the height is 12. So we're just going to select it once more time, one more time, and then press 12 and press OK. And we're going to be making this size of 12 by 12, so this cut right here. So we will go to our modify, and we're going to click on chamfer. Then we're just going to select these two corners here. And all we're going to do is type in a distance of 12 millimeters and press enter. Next, we need to go back to our drawing right here. And we want to bring up that rectangle here, which looks like it is 60 tall overall and 12 wide by 42 wide. So we'll do that. We will create a sketch on this top plane here and now when we look at it once more it's 12 by 42 so we are going to go to our two point rectangle this time and select this corner here and go up to this top it's gonna snap to it so we already have 42 so we don't have to worry about that so we'll hit tab type in 12 and press enter now we need to extrude this, but the height is 60 from the very bottom. So what we can do is, since we know this height here is 12, we can just type in 60 minus 12, and the program will do the math for us, which is very nice. So we'll do that. So we will press Q, and select this right here. And then for the distance, we want to do 60 minus 12, and press Enter. Now we saw we have a half circle on the top here. And so the way we're going to be drawing that in is, is by filleting this box. So we'll do that real quick. We'll go to modify and then we'll click on fill it. We select these two edges here. And now it said the radius was 21. So that's what we'll type in 21. And now you see we have a nice half circle there of constant radius press OK and finally what we've got here is a triangle now it may look a little bit daunting to to draw this I mean we could draw a rectangle here extrude it up and then cut it which wouldn't be all that bad but there's another way to do it well actually um let's do it both ways so what we'll do is first we'll do it by drawing a rectangle it's 12 wide and it goes the entire length and it goes up by 42. So we'll do that. 
we need to go up to create a sketch and then click on this surface here. Now we need to create a rectangle, a two point rectangle, but you don't want to select this middle point here because it will make it more difficult to draw it later or to fix its position. So we're going to start with our first corner and draw it up here. And we need to make this 12, oh not 112, but 12 millimeters tall. Now that itself is pretty close to being right, but if we look at our drawing here, the total width is 42 millimeters and the width of this rectangle is 12. So 42 minus 12 is 30 divided by two means that there should be 15 millimeters on either side of this. So we'll do that to make it centered. So the way we'll do that is by pressing D and we will click on one side of the rectangle and then one side of our drawing. And so it's already pretty close. So we'll type in 15 millimeters, press enter. And now you can see that this is perfectly centered. The height of that rectangle is 42 millimeters. So we will press Q, click on our rectangle here, and we're just going to extrude it. And that's 42 from this top here to here. We'll do 42 and press enter. And now since it is a perfect rectangle or a perfect triangle, we just have to connect that edge to that edge and we'll cut it out. So we'll go to create a sketch and click here. We'll zoom in just a little bit and then we're going to click on line. Now we need to draw a triangle so that we can cut it out. So we're going to click on this corner here, click on this corner here, and then we just need to finish it. And so now we can press Q and we'll click on this and we are actually going to have to type in a negative number. So if we type in negative 12, because that's the, the width of it, and press enter, we will have cut out that whole area. And so now that looks identical to our sketch. Now I promised that we would do two ways. And the other way is we can actually draw this triangle a little bit differently. So I'm just going to go all the way back and we're just going to move our timeline to before we drew the triangle. So we're going to draw it one more time. So we are going to click on create a sketch. Now we're going to select this axis right here now, this plane. And now we need to select line. And we're just going to select somewhere on this face. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to click, draw down and click there. And then we just want to fi finish off this triangle and make it complete. And now we're going to dimension by pressing D. We know that we need to make this height 42, which <laughs> that's, <laughs> I'd say that's pretty close. So we'll, we'll just type in 42, press enter. And then we're going to extrude it. So press Q. We're going to select this guy here. And I'm going to orbit out and scroll out a little bit and we need this to be 12 millimeters total. But what we're going to do is click on symmetric. And so that means that if it does it on one side, it will do it on the other side. So all we have to do is put in half that amount, so six millimeters. And that means that both sides will get six millimeters from that drawing. And then we will press OK. And there you go, you have the exact same drawing as before, but with only two steps instead of four. So you can see one, two, versus one, two, three, four. So it did make it a bit easier and l saved us a little bit of time. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you in the next video.